guys! Hello everybody! Hello you! Welcome to my channel, Queries Art. So before I start my video, I want to say a very happy new year to everybody. Um, I wish that you are all safe. And I wish you all the best of luck for the year 2021. So guys, this is just going to be a little year-end report of the things that I made this year, 2020. And if I can say, I actually did a lot of things this year. And if I will look of all the things that I made, it is just amazing a lot. It's like a lot. And some of the things that I made were already sold out or given away as a gift. And yeah, if you also find something nice with all of the things and you want to have it, please visit me on my um, my Etsy account and that is www.phraseart.com. And if you don't have any Etsy account, you can just contact me um, through a direct message on this channel or just send me a message to my um you know to my social media accounts that are just down below and if you like you can also of course um subscribe to my channel and just say hi you know and share it with your friends so now i am just going to start to show and tell of all the things that i made so hang in there and let's see what i created this year 2020 so guys the first thing that i'm going to show you is my shawl collection so there's um like you know the shawl that i made is like the first thing that i actually made this year was i think um that shawl this one and this is from sirdar yarn color real dazzle so it looks like this it is like that and if you can see this is like also with glitters it is a glittered yarn like that and this is the first shawl that i made this year if i remember and it is just really nice to you know <laughs> to use it because it is just like yeah it's warm and i don't know actually what it is but i think it is like an acrylic yarn or wool i'm not sure anymore but it is not that very itchy on your body so if you will use it it's just very nice for a little um you know evening or day whenever it is cold you can just use it so that is one of the shawl that i made and this one that i have right now is wait why is it I think this is the one that I made, the other one. And this is from Katya Color Paint, if I remember. And this is like a... a this, this one is actually a very... Um, a thick yarn also. But at the same time also not... Yeah, it is thick and but soft. So if you will look at the colors, it is from black, gray, white, um, or light gray from pink to orange to all of the colors of the you know fall and there is also one story with this um shawl this shawl is actually made when i was in the philippines this year i'm oh, sorry when i was actually in the philippines this year around february march and i was actually crocheting this at the airport and everywhere um, when we were um, going around um, out and about with my parents I made this there and this cost me like a month to finish because yeah of course I was just there and we were having you know vacation but this is one of it and the other one because I just really like the quality of the yarn and how it is like very smooth on the crochet hook that I used so I also another I bought another Katya color paint and this is like this. It also has the same color, but I use a different kind of um, pattern with this one. So this is, I think this is called the moss stitch um, crochet pattern. So it is really like that. It is very um, you know close with each other and this can really give you a very warm feeling when you are going to use this in the winter. So, 
it is like this. So that is my um, three shawls already that I'm going to show you. And the third shawl that I am going to show you is this one. And this one is from um, the black to gray to white shawl. And this is made from Hobby Cotton Kings. And this is made from 100% cotton. And this is actually big. If you can see there how big it is. There. And the quality of this one is very light because it is cotton, you know, cotton yarn. So it is like four threads at the same time if you're going to look at here. There. It is like four threads at the same time. And the uh, color or the gradient of the... It is very subtle, you know, from black and then to very bright, uh, to very bright um, white. It is just like that, so it is really nice. And the other um, shawl that I made is this one. I think this is called the Secret Path shawl that I made, and this is made from Hobby um, Twister yarn. So the Hobby Twister yarn is, I think, this is also created with cotton and also acrylic yarn. So the quality or the feel of this one and this one is a bit different. But at the same time, they are just um, soft also. Um, I like on how I made this or I like the, on how I work with this yarn because it is just very easy to, to make this. <laughs> Or at least to use with my crochet hook. So if you can see here, there's a lot of different kinds of things that, um, you know, different kinds of stitches. If I remember, this is made from double crochet. And um, I think this is a puff, puff stitch or bubble stitch, I think. Or I think it's a puff stitch. And like the front post double crochet and the back post double crochet and a little bit of for the edging it looks like this the color is also very subtle the transition from white to orange to blue and it is just really nice so yeah. those are my shawl collection I think for this year that I am going to show you is this little bag, market bag that I made. And this one is like also with glitters. If you, I'm not sure if you can really see it, but there. It is just a little glittery there. It is nice. It is just a little market bag. This is um, actually now available in my Etsy account. So if you like this one, you can purchase this directly already. Um, and this is an actually a very um, easy pattern to make because it is just like you're just going to use the double crochet um, stitch stitches with this one and a single crochet for the handle so it is like that for this one and I'm going to show you the um, blanket baby blanket collection that I made so this is from hobby um, twister no hobby cotton kings yarn and I think this is called the jelly opal color I'm not sure anymore but this is made from 100% um, cotton yarn if you can see here and this stitch is called the waffle stitch if you can see waffle stitch I hope that you can really see it how pretty it is it is just like that so it it looks like the Belgian waffle you know and it is from a very bright um, you know rainbow color so it is just a small um, baby blanket it's just more for receiving and also for a crib blanket and it looks like this that's one of the blanket that I made um, the second blanket that I made this year is um, this one this is also from cotton um, kings um, twirls and this is also from 100% cotton 
and this is like a hexagon um, blanket I can really show you how the look of this hexagon but if you can see how beautiful the gradient yarn is is it's it is from the very bright yellow to the very dark um, yellow so and it re this reminds me actually of the beehive because of the color this is a bit bigger than the other one and if you can actually also see i think the cotton twirls hobby um, yarn is like I think 1,000 meters long or 800 meters long. I'm not sure anymore but um, that is this one is like uh, one um, ball of yarn. So this is very very nice again and the last thing that I made from um, um, from this uh, from a from this yarn. This is also the cotton gings um, twirls is this little square blanket that I made this is also for your babies and it has this very pastel color from pink from violet and blue and a bit of cream color it is this one is a very easy pattern to make and because it is just like um, you know the granny square um, pattern and then with that little granny square, I just expanded it to make it like a, a baby blanket. So this one. So, and there are also like, I also made another baby blanket, but it is not with me anymore because it is already like sold out. So if you want to see those um, little or those um, blanket that I made you can also see it in my Instagram account so and now let's move on to the next part of this um, show and tell and that will be my um, little head warmers that I made <laughs> and I actually had made a lot of head warmers or ear warmers, head warmers, ear warmers, I don't know. And if you're going to use this, it's actually very nice, you know, for winter, <laughs> like that. There, it looks like this. Okay, just gonna wear it. Yeah, it looks like that. And this one is very warm for, you know, when you are um, outside. It's gonna be warm for you, for your ears, so you don't get cold. And I made a lot of different colors. This one, I forgot the name of the yarn, but look how pretty it is, the color combination of the... And how it moves. It looks like a candy... <laughs> it looks like a candy yarn, actually, if you will look at it. It's just a simple twisted hair um, ear warmer. So if you're going to use it, it's just gonna be like this. Look how pretty it is on me. <laughs> I really like it. So I'm just keeping this for myself because this really fits or I really made this for my head and I'm going to use it. And this one is just a little um, different um, head uh, ear warmer also to show. This is the color um, pink I think or a little bit of um, very subtle pink also with a bit of glitters. You can see it there. I hope you can see it. Yeah, yes that's it and I also have like a blue color and this is for a baby for a small toddler I think this can fit a toddler this one and this is made from acrylic um, yarn so this one is very soft and it's also expandable if you're going to use it you know and the other one is that this one this is a bit bigger. I think this one is bigger than this one. Yeah, I have a big head, so this one is maybe for a teenager, you know, for a teenager or for people who have like a very small face. And I know, oh yeah, and I also made another um, candy colored um, ear warmer that looks like this. Like the one that I made, but this one is gonna fit on me because this is really made for smaller head <laughs> circumference, you know? So it looks like that. So the next thing that I made is this little um, cute bonnet with ears. 
it looks so cute <laughs> pretty cute you know and this one is just the same color as the a warmer here that i made but i think this one can fit i'm not sure if it can really fit like from zero to six months or that is a bit big of um, a difference but it is just like this big i can it can fit for sure uh let's say three months or three months just to be sure it looks like that and the next thing that I made is a lot of scrunchies. So this is one of the scrunchie that I made. And this is from a metallic yarn. Um, metallic wool. I think this is wool or acrylic yarn with a bit of glitters on it. I hope that you can see the glitters. It is just like that. Um, I only have this one left here at home or with me because um i actually made like 100 pieces of this scrunchie but all of them are now sent to the philippines and they are being sold there so i am very happy to make them because it is such an easy project if you're going to make them and it really looks so pretty if you're going to use it oh, if you're going to use it it looks like this it looks like a coral <laughs> And it reminds me all the time of the coral reefs in the Philippines when we went snorkeling. So it really looks like this pretty if you're going to look at it. So I really like this one. So, you know, I'm also using this one whenever I have the time. And also whenever I am just going out and yeah, I'm using this one. So the next thing that I am going to show you, it is not a real crochet related item, but this is one of the things that I am making but this time I only made um, this year I think I only made this one it is an embroidery of a snowflake so I made a red embroidery snowflake oh. and it looks like this it is actually not yet finished because like um, I still have to to back it out you know to put the backing but I will soon finish this so I can just um, uh, put it later on my account and that's the other one so so the next thing that I'm going to show you guys is my face scrubbies and what are face scrubbies and these are the face scrubbies that I made so it looks like that and like this so I sell these things with um in five pieces or three pieces and i have 10 colors of it so i have like the cream soft uh, the gray color yeah. gray color and i also have the this one and red or raspberry color pink or orchid color you know this one and mustard color um, yellow and blue pink and at the same time the very dark um, green one so um, this face scrubbies it is made out of 100% cotton yarn and what I use with this um, face scrubbies, it is from Yarn and Colors um, Favorite. And that is a 100% cotton yarn. And with this face scrubby, you can see how pretty it is. Like that. It is just made from double crochet popcorn stitch. And half double crochet. I just really like the look of this one and i already sold um, some of this um you know some of this face scrubbies and if you are going to use this you can actually use this whenever you are going to clean your face with uh, makeup or um you know when you are going to wash your face and you just scrub it for your face it just helps you know instead of throwing a lot of cotton or throwing a lot of you know things you can reuse this and this can be washed at least like 30 degrees uh, i says uh, it says here also or what i actually put here that it is 
eco-friendly you can reuse it you can also um, prefer um, yeah hand wash it and it is also for machine wash for 30 de degrees Celsius so it looks like that so yeah I made all of those so I have 10 colors of this one and if you want to purchase them and if you want to look or have a look at my Etsy account they are actually um, posted there already and they are ready to ship out so if you're going to order now it is probably that I'm going to send it today or send it tomorrow already because they are already hand, uh, pre made so I already have them all at hand on hand I mean so the things I also made this year were a lot of amigurumis. So what are amigurumis? Amigurumis are little toys, crochet toys that I made. So this is the one of the amigurumis that I made. And this is from Hook. <laughs> you know, the Hook Giraffe Ziggy that we made before. Or it is also actually on my other video, but I just unboxed it. I, I didn't show the whole process of how to make this because I am also not allowed to give away of course the tutorial or the pattern away so I just made this little amigurumi giraffe kit uh, giraffe and from hook and I actually made a lot of different amigurumis like from apple um, from this little um, cookie wait, wait cookie there there's my little cookie and I actually made an egg <laughs> an egg and the little um, pencil if you can see it there there the pencil is there it looks like this yeah and I also made a um, little cup there's the little cup there and oh my god <laughs> I also made this little chicken <laughs> it looks so cute the chicken I hope you can really see like there's the chicken and I made um what do you call this an eggplant <laughs> eggplant aubergine um popsicle looks like this <laughs> and I'm just going to show you everything that I made because I'm very proud of them. Lemon and there. My ice cream cone is here also. And the cupcake that I made. It is looking like that. And this one also. Okay, so this is the jellyfish that I made this is also you can also see how I made this on my other video so it looks like that and another jellyfish but this jellyfish is with a um, keychain so I just made it like a keychain it, it is very cute and I use a different kind of yarn with this one I kind of forgot what I used with this one but yeah it just really looks cute it looks like that and I also have a little donut here <laughs> like this little donut and it looks like that so with the amigurumi um, items or toys that I made um, this one I just made it from a ribbon kind of yarn but I don't know I forgot the name of the yarn but it looks like this hope you can see it easily it looks like that um, most of the amigurumis that I made they are from 100% cotton and I think I use also um, from Katona Escapius yarn and also um, what do you call that one um, the must have um, um, must have yarn from yarn and colors and the other one what did I actually use I actually forgot the things but these are just like the cotton um, kind of yarn that I used like that so. and 
this one is of course from Mohawk, the Eco Barbante. If you're going to see, and this one is bigger. The yeah, this yarn is bigger than this kind of yarn, of course. So if you can compare them, it is just very different from each other. And the last thing that I made, this is actually for Christmas. I just made them for Christmas. Wait, I'm just gonna put it. In. Oh, it fell down, all of it. So um, the thing that I made for Christmas is this little um, snow cone that we made here. The little um, sock, Christmas sock, unicorn. I don't know if you can see it. Unicorn. It looks so pretty. So cute. And the Christmas tree also. It looks like that. And this for um, Amigurumis were actually from Hobby pattern. You know, they have this little crochet along or the cult, what they call it. And I just followed them and it really looks so cute. <laughs> So it looks like that. I hope I can, yeah, there. It really looks super cute. So I use them as a little Christmas decoration here at home since I made them every week because I have to follow them every week. And the last thing that I made is this little uh, Santa Claus, but this one is, this Santa Claus is from um, Hook. They have a DIY kit of this one. I also um, showed this on my last video. If you if you already saw the video, and if not, yeah, I'm just going to share with you guys later the video of the Santa Claus. It is so cute. So um, it looks like that. So it's also like for Christmas. So yeah, those are the things that I made. <laughs> So the next thing that I am going to show you is not a crochet related item but it is actually made out of felt and it, is, and it looks like this. So this is the felt letters that I made. So this is from A to Z. Um, and this is actually good for kids who are learning how to read and write. And I already sold some of this um, and my Etsy account so and they were actually positive about it and I was just happy to make it because whenever you are just going to make it you are like making a lot of words and it is really a good learning um, item you know for kids who want to familiarize the letters of the al alphabet so I also made this kind of stuff so yeah so there's the, actually a lot of things that I haven't showed you because they are already sold out. But like this one, I actually made this Amigurumi um, pumpkin, if you can see it there. So I also made that one. And I also made actually a... Oh yeah, and this shawl was also sold <laughs> out. I also made this did this year and this one is also like from cotton kings it really looks like that and the other one that i also made was a baby blanket and the baby blanket looks like this it is an 11 pointed star baby blanket and it looks like that i hope you can see it and i actually made a rug also so the rug it looks like this uh, there and I also um, some of them of course like the rug is like given away already so I don't have it with me anymore and the other rug that I made is this one I hope you can see it um, yeah. it's so hard you know if ever just please look at my Instagram account so you can actually see what I made and the other thing that I actually made is this little um, pillow that I made. This is just very recent, but I actually gave this as, as a gift, so it is not with me anymore. But that is the pillow that I made. It's just a little throw pillow. And 
I was really um, very happy with the results because it really looks so pretty with the, the one that I made or the one that I made from the pillow. So guys, those were the things that I made this year, 2020. I hope that you enjoyed my video. It became a very long video because it, I just really made a lot this year. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that your 2021 will be very good and I hope the pandemic stops already. So if guys you like all of my um, stuff and you want to purchase them, they're available in my Etsy account like what I said earlier. And again, thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe, to like, to share with your family and friends. And I'll see you again next time. I'll see you next year. <laughs> okay, and bye-bye.